Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Ace of Wands. Someone, you may be manifesting something really great for yourself. However, someone in your energy has also been trying to manifest a passion, new beginning, and the hangman. This is this has something to do with some type of sacrificial type energy. Okay. Um, and I keep hearing collateral damage. Collateral damage. The other day I was hearing the channel message. It was a late night channel message. It was like something about domestic partnership. Domestic partnership and collateral damage. Some of you guys need to be careful. Like I said, this could be you or someone that you know. What I'm intuitively picking up, and we'll see what the cards say. Nine of Pentacles, okay? You could be someone that is very stable, secure, and abundant on your own. You could be single. You don't have to be. All right, Three of Pentacles. There's a, a, a group of people in the background who could possibly be working against you, okay? Um, this could be for some type of fame, fortune. They want your, your light. They want your, um, like they want your, your, your spot. Somebody here. Yes, absolutely. King of wands, six of wands. Oh, and then the temperance. And here's the hangman, but it's in the reverse. Wait a minute. Let me see something. So you guys definitely may have a person that is looking at your light. They're looking at the fact that you are able to heal, that you're abundant. You could have a platform. You're an earth angel. And someone here has been trying to either stop your growth and your ascension, or they're actually trying to sacrifice you or someone that you know. Okay. Collateral damage. Let me tell you. So nine of pentacles is here. You could have possibly done a lot of work already with the three of pentacles on creating something for yourself. This could be you working a lot on your healing journey. You could have some type of business where you're just being very truthful, very open, honest, authentic about whatever you're doing. It does not have to be anything spiritual. I feel like you are a natural born leader, but you have a person that is looking at something that you have already created. Okay. Someone is looking at something that you have already created. And I feel like there is a bit of jealousy, anger, greed, um, competition that's coming from whoever this like King of Wands individual may be. The Six of Wands is here. I feel like this Six of Wands is your energy. You have walked away from someone that was bringing some type of conflict towards you. And what you've done is you're moving into a time now where you don't have the same blockages or delays in your life, which were probably set forth by whoever this person is. You're transmuting a lot of energy. You're becoming balanced and in perfect peace and harmony. Um, your, your spiritual team, they're assisting you. It's, it's no doubt that like you're this, this earth angel, this angelic being. And somebody is upset about this. The Queen of Swords. Somebody I feel is upset about something that you are saying. A truth that you've spoken to them or about them. Yeah, it looks like you guys, like you told someone some type of truth and then you walked away from a situation. Someone that you walked away from, it's like... Three of Wands, High Priestess, and the Seven of Swords. Six of Swords, the Empress. I don't like this energy because it feels like, because I, I use just the words that have been coming up in my messages lately have been very interesting. It's like a person is trying to summon you. Um, for some of you, you need to be careful of a person actually trying to set you up. Someone could be trying to set you up so that you will meet them at a place or a location or something like that. Um, Queen of Swords, not of Pentacles. Somebody has a problem with you speaking from a place of being confident or what you're saying or what you're doing as the queen of swords, being like this, this high achiever, someone, um, highly analytical, intelligent. I'm, I keep hearing very, you're very well-spoken, um, your delivery about something is very clear. It's concise. You may have spoken out about a group or some type of team, a collaboration, 
someone that was a part of some type of project and you may have walked away. This is a group or collaboration of family or something that you walked away from and you've spoken some type of truth or someone is afraid that you're going to speak some type of truth about this situation the three of wands is here the high priestess and the seven of swords what someone is afraid of is that this high priestess is going to speak out about something that they've done so with the star card here and the six of wands i feel like i'm talking to a person who has um you may have a following, you could have a platform or something like that. You could be like, you could do readings, you could um, be a TikToker, you could be a motivational speaker, you could do spoken word, poetry, whatever it is. There is a King of Wands person out here, though, who is very afraid that eventually with the Three of Wands, the High Priestess is going to speak out about something that they have done in the dark. So somebody is threatened by what someone speaks about in... In, in in some space six of swords and then here is the empress the six of pentacles and the five of pentacles see i this is what i'm saying this king of wands for some of you you need to be careful because i feel like a person is trying to get you to come towards them somebody could even be trying to get you to travel with them okay you could be the divine feminine and they're trying to make it seem like oh yeah they want to give you equal give and take you know, this is a reciprocal relationship. No, you'll be left out in the cold. Somebody is almost like someone is trying to trick you into a place, a space, a location so that they can actually abandon you. Okay. And somebody could be being paid to do this. Yeah. To manifest what somebody is trying to do is they're trying to manifest money and they want to be able to set some type of record straight with this ace of swords somebody wants to make sure that the story that they want is a story that is put out about a situation for some of you this could have something to do even about like a testimony and some type of case or something somebody knows about a major betrayal and what they want to do is make sure that the truth does not get out again collateral damage i feel like somebody has already been a part of a situation and it's like someone has a lifestyle or something and it's it's borrowed. Somebody probably sold their soul some type of way that whatever they have is only in place because of lies that have been told or something like that. Their collateral damage is this earth angel person or this divine feminine somebody is like okay if you can't pay up then give up this divine feminine or this high priestess or whatever the case is so somebody has been blackmailed or convinced to pretty much like sacrifice a possibly like a divine feminine high priestess because someone is afraid that something is some type of truth is going to come out. So let me tell you what I'm really saying. Some of you could have been connected, especially if you're a divine feminine. And I'm picking up a divine feminine who's a woman. You could have been connected to a masculine. Okay. This person could be karmic to you. You could have walked away from this person. But this person is a part of some type of group, secret society, or whatever. Because... Especially if you're a high priestess, someone is very much threatened and just bothered by the fact that you're a high priestess. Someone is worried that you know some type of secret or that you're going to speak out about some type of secret. About a situation happening with a, a team or group of people. So whoever this masculine is that you know is connected to this group. This group has found out about you through this masculine. They now have told this masculine, you need to get that divine feminine out of the way. Or we're going to get that divine feminine out of the way because they don't want this divine feminine to speak out on something. Ten of Swords is here. Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune.
I'm sorry, you guys. This energy is sickening. Mm. I mean, like, I'm very sick to my stomach. I'm sorry. Um, this is not good. Whoever this masculine is, they're trying to hide themselves. But they definitely... got themselves involved in this situation this is somebody who is sacrificing the divine feminine and i'm hearing somebody say well you know what you had to do to get in you know what you have to do to get out so somebody has to make a sacrifice to get in they have to make a sacrifice to get out. Oh. I'm so sorry, like, um, There's a lot here to gain for doing this. Somebody gets money. They get love. They get attention. The Ace of Swords. They get a clean slate. I don't know. So somebody is being told to get everything that you want. You need you make a sacrifice. Somebody is contemplating this or they've already done it. The problem, though, is they're not going to be able to follow through with this because they're doing it to an earth angel. So, again, with collateral damage, it's like... Um, How do I want to say this? Oh my goodness. I just... Somebody here, why it's so sickening is because this is a, you know, when you think about collateral damage, um, this is, this is an, this is someone who's innocent, who may not even know anything about whatever is happening in the background. But somebody here is being targeted. Or somebody targeted somebody who somebody who targeted a person. This is going to backfire. 
if to be honest with you, it feels like somebody targeted someone to try and sacrifice them or whatever the case is, but with collateral damage, it's going to affect someone else who is also innocent. The fool, yeah. This earth angel person is not going to get caught in this situation. Yeah, this is over. The world. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Three of Cups. The Hermit. It's a Virgo out here. Who was working very hard on having a new beginning, a celebration for some. This is a group, um, a ritual. This could be, to be honest with you, some type of sex ritual or something like that. I don't know why, but with this three of cups here and this ace of wands, I'm getting somebody worked very hard to do some type of blood sacrifice, sex ritual, or whatever. It's a Virgo, Queen of Pentacles and Hermit. There's a Virgo that's out here that's doing a lot of this or is a part of this somehow. Oh my gosh. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Here's a Queen of Cups here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and you have a Knight of Cups here and a Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The um, Knight of Wands. Look at all these Knights. Yeah, there's three Knights here and there's three Queens here. Okay, this, this is starting to really... Because a lot of this stuff, I don't know it. I just can tell you what I'm hearing. This is like a group of shapeshifters or something like that. These knights, for some reason, it's like these people are using familiar spirits or something. The four of wands, the knight of wands. This king of pentacles. Somebody could live at a distance. Somebody who lives at a distance who is heartbroken. They're upset about something changing, going in a different direction. They're sending people out. These knights, for some reason, this is familiar. These are, I heard, watchmen. They're sending people out. To, like rush in to someone's home or to stop someone's celebration you have this queen of cups out here and this queen of wands and then this possibly capricorn virgo these are women too i'm getting two women and two men possibly and then there's a hermit. This is a witch. Okay. Seriously, this knight of wands may be somebody else. Somebody, this could be happening to a divine feminine. This could also be happening to a divine masculine. Somebody could be trying to sacrifice like a divine couple. You have a queen of cups and a queen of wands. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. These two people and these two knights. This could be a family. They're working with this witch. They've done some type of blood sacrifice or something so that they could hurt or harm 
someone who is going quickly towards stability, security, a happy home, a possible union or whatever. They did this because in order for them to have clarity, ideas, information, in order for them to wipe their slate clean and be seen as the truth, for them to manifest money and love the attention from other people or whatever, they needed to sacrifice someone. And they're sacrificing, it looks like this Knight of Wands, who is this King of Wands, and or maybe this Divine Feminine. They're tr somebody here is, okay, somebody is trying to sacrifice a Divine Masculine. They're trying to sacrifice the divine feminine and masculine, but I don't know. These people are connected to this masculine. They want to sacrifice this divine feminine. This came out like two months ago. So these people are at, they're at it again. They've already tried this. They're, they're going about this a different way. It's like they found a different practitioner. These people want to sacrifice this divine masculine. They now are trying very hard to sacrifice this divine feminine because the divine feminine is a high priestess who is helping this divine masculine to awaken. Oh my gosh. These people are experiencing some type of loss. And this high priestess has said something about this. This high priestess has said something like, you know, if if somebody doesn't stop doing something, there was a warning. Somebody took it as like shots fired. But the thing about it is someone has said something. This could for sure be like a high a reader or these people have gone to like a tarot reader or something. Something has been predicted that is now happening. And these people are now like, wait a minute, who exactly is this divine feminine? And I talked about this in a reading earlier this week about there was like a, a prophet that has been hiding in plain sight for a while. Somebody had no idea who they were dealing with. They knew that they were stealing the energy of this divine feminine or masculine, but this person is also connected to someone else who is very anointed just like them. So these people now have not only tried to sacrifice one person, they now are trying to sacrifice someone else. Collateral damage. This is going to backfire and it's going to be really bad for the people that's doing this. What What is the term that people use when you have to... Um, what what is the the term when you when you get a loan for something and they say you know like you have to you have to be willing to um when you get a security loan a secured loan an unsecured loan you don't have to um it doesn't require collateral Something about collateral and collateral damage. Okay. Somebody. Okay. Okay. Collect, so somebody could have gotten a loan for something. Somebody could have gotten a loan for something really big. Okay. Somebody could have had put up like a house or a car or something as collateral. It's something here with some paperwork and some finances is not going how somebody wanted it to. And so now they're trying to sacrifice someone to change the outcome in this situation. That's the only way I can explain this. But on a spiritual level, the same thing is happening. Someone has, has taken out a loan to live a certain lifestyle with the devil. When it's time for them to pay the loan back. 
if they don't have what they need to pay it back, which is a sacrifice, they've now decided to sacrifice somebody else. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So somebody felt like they had a sacrifice. Okay. It could have been this divine feminine or masculine. They couldn't sacrifice their person. So now collateral damage or just collateral, they're like, well, let's, let's sacrifice another person that is connected to the, uh, the person that they were originally going to try to sacrifice. I'll be honest with you. I feel like whoever they're trying to sacrifice now. Is even more high ranking than the first person they tried to sacrifice. When I tell you I want to throw up. These people have no idea. I don't know what these people are doing right now. With this Venus in retrograde, whatever these twin flame attacks they are doing. Um... full moon is coming up in a few days somebody oh they this this is this is bad i mean when i tell you i'm sick i'm sick this is bad real bad somebody is like we need a way out Sacrifice that person. Okay, listen, we can't sacrifice them. So who exactly is this person that they're connected to? Sacrifice them. Mm. This is all bad. I mean, real bad. Death. I told you. This, this action here, it will result in death. Mm, too much chaos, conflict, king of cups, six of cups, knight of swords, two of cups, page of swords. Somebody is going to see. Archangel Michael come in and really regulate these demons. <sighs> Bottom of the death of the deck is death. The moon. Whoever it is, um, uh, person is who has Scorpio in their moon or this cancer person that has been coming out in these readings. I don't know if, if you watch this channel, I don't know if it's you doing this or your friends and family have put you up to doing this, but I'll tell you now, whoever you are, you very well could be the collateral damage because you keep playing around with this. It's a Scorpio out here or a Cancer. I don't know who this person is, but they keep playing around with this group or their family members with this, this sacrificial business that they have going on. When this backfires, it's not going to hit who they think is going to hit. It's not going to hit the people that they're sacrificing. It's going to hit somebody in this group who will be considered the most innocent as compared to the rest. This could be somebody's child. Oh yeah, and somebody's stressed out about it. But see, people don't like to listen. <laughs> they don't wanna listen. Anything else? I, I can't stay in this reading. I'm sick. The sun. Somebody did this to a divine being. And this is a divine masculine that somebody is trying to sacrifice. 
They saw the light in this person. And they thought to themselves, I tell you what, we'll just keep going out here doing all of this dark, wicked stuff. And if ever we need to get out of it, we'll just sacrifice this golden child. We'll sacrifice this person. But what somebody doesn't know is when they did this, they could actually be sacrificing their own child. That's what's going to backfire. I t I've been talking about this child coming out for weeks. Knight of Swords. Somebody keeps rushing in with this magic. This is so sad. What did I say? It's over. Someone's entire world is going to be destroyed. Justice, King of Wands. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. You have a Queen of Cups out here who wants to be like another person. There's a karmic feminine out here who wants to be seen as a divine feminine. Heavy Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This could be a water sign person. Their magic to sacrifice someone to take their spot is not working. There's a lot of layers to this situation. This could have to do with the King of Wands, this divine masculine. These people tried to sacrifice this divine masculine. They wanted this divine masculine to be out in the cold. I feel like this divine masculine eventually moved away from a queen of cups went towards another queen of cups okay so you have two two different feminists out here both of them could be like high priests one is working in the light one is in the dark the one that's working in the dark being emotionally dramatic and in playing around with dark magic this person thought that they were going to sacrifice a divine feminine. That didn't work. This divine feminine isn't even actually in this world. This person is protected. This person, this divine feminine is very high ranking in the spirit. Very actually more high ranking than this divine masculine somebody just lost their cool they was just like okay i tell you what things are going bad i'm i'm upset i'm going to i'm going to bring i'm going to cause drama for this divine masculine let's let's hex this divine masculine in their life but see, you put a hex on this divine masculine and it almost touched this divine feminine. But see, you don't know how powerful this divine feminine is. And I feel real bad because if this is a woman that's been doing this with her daughter. I hope you can live with yourself. When you see who's actually sacrificed. And it won't be the person that you put up on that altar. That you put in that graveyard. Or that you call those people across this water. To do this to. Because somebody here is already sovereign and free. And you will be receiving a message very soon that whatever was sent out to hurt or harm an innocent person that they thought was going to be their collateral damage, that it's over. Because guess what? The Hierophant is here. God saw everything that these people did in the dark. Everything. Why 
these cards backwards. And what was it for? For money? You wanted a relationship? You want somebody to hear you? If somebody out here has a platform, somebody is mad about what somebody is saying, what they're doing, how they're being seen. And whoever this Virgo is, is going to be in for quite the rude awakening. And this person may not be a Virgo sun sign. They could just have it somewhere in their chart. Or Virgo season will be significant. But somebody out here is a part of some type of secret society. Really, this is a group of like Satanists, really. Let's see, what's today's date? The 22nd. Let me see. Because I'm really about to snitch on y'all right now. Since you like to play. Today is July. Oh, yeah, look at this. I can't make it up. July 20th through the 26th. What does it say? Abduction. Ceremonial preparation and holding of sacrificial victim. This website is exposing satanism.org. This is a satanic calendar. This is the, the BS that they do. So y'all saw right now, y'all was going to provide, y'all was going <laughs> to... Bind somebody in the spirit to, to prepare them for a sacrifice. And because it was too hard to get them, you then thought that you was going to go and sacrifice the high priestess who can see everything that you're doing. Hmm. Okay. You drink your own stupid, silly juice. Because what you're going to have now is death. King of Swords. Oh, you will die from this. Because the God that you serve, this devil that you serve, cannot get out, cannot help you. You have no collateral damage. There will be no, no collateral damage or you have no collateral at all. Because somebody is protected. They're an earth angel. It could be a divine feminine or divine masculine or both. But somebody here has been doing a blood sacrifice or a, a whole ritual or they will be doing this for the next few days, trying to prepare someone to be sacrificed. I don't know if somebody wants to be initiated or what they're trying to do. I'm pretty sure it's a sacrifice. The Lions Gate portal is coming up. So for money, for fame, for fortune, you want to sacrifice somebody. I'm sick to my stomach right now. July 27th, the grand climax. Oral, anal, vaginal, human sacrifice, female, child, or an adult. This is online. You can you can look this up yourself. That's their calendar. That's what they like to do. I would I say earlier. Sex orgies, huh? Everybody use their wand. And you thought what? That you was going to get this divine feminine for your sacrifice? You thought you was going to sacrifice the divine feminine and what you just did is you sacrificed your child. And I feel no ways for it. People love to play these games. And even, even myself as a, as a reader... Y'all like to get in people's energy, but then when the truth comes out, can you handle it? Because what, what's on the calendar? The 20th through the 26th, today is the 22nd. You know you don't have time to reverse this, right? <laughs> you know you don't have time to reverse it.
you won't get out of this one. Maybe a lot of people have some peace. High honor. It's a mature woman who thinks that she's a... This is a mature woman out here who thinks that she's a person of high honor. Keeps trying to sacrifice. Yeah. Keeps trying to sacrifice a privileged lady for sudden wealth. You came over here in this energy and now I'm just letting you know what to expect. Thief. There's a thief out here. Thoughts. Somebody said, ooh, I know who we can sacrifice. Sacrifice that divine feminine. That's the privileged lady that's in the nine of pentacles. Sacrifice them. That should get us exactly what we want, huh? Okay. We'll see. We shall, we shall see. Main male. House. Message of concern about people in this community and what they do to get their houses, their cars, their money, their clothes. Somebody's going to be in bad health. Or they already are. It's King of Wands. They're in bad health because they're experiencing changes in their life. Or they know that it's a lot of huge changes to come for what they've been doing. And here you have this woman and her child. This mature woman and her child. That loves to play in other people's energy. The lovers in the in the um imprisonment here. Somebody here thought that they were gonna go in the spirit and bind somebody to some type of demon or something like that in hopes of stealing their gift. Why? Because they wanted a masculine to be their wealthy man so that they would have great fortune. This wealthy man may not have a dollar to his name, but it's something about his energy that they definitely want. This man could be wealthy financially or spiritually, but somebody thought that they were going to go in the spirit and, and connect something or bind somebody. The reading that I did today, I talked about that. It's like a spiritual spouse. Somebody here has been trying to bind people in the spirit to some type of demonic entity. So that it will block them from any type of forward movement and it will, it will bind someone so that it will be easier for them to sacrifice them in the next few days. But you already know that if it's coming out, if I can pick up on it and it's coming out, your plans have already been canceled. But this death has not been canceled. That part of the contract in the fine print, as well as typed out in bold, it will not change. Marriage and promise. <laughs> this is all about a marriage, a contract. Somebody does not want someone to marry someone else. This is some... This Queen of Cups energy here, some melodramatic person that is out here just boohoo. I, I can hear this person. You said we were going to get married. You said it was going to. This is somebody who just cannot get over the fact that a relationship has fallen apart. So you decide you're going to hex someone. But you're going to try to now sacrifice 
a divine feminine in hopes that it's going to make a man come back to you. But you sacrifice a divine feminine who's actually an earth angel, a high priestess, a very high, high ranking high priestess at that. And you got the help of people in your spiritual community, maybe even your mother, auntie, grandmother or whomever. To assist you in this. Because when you go out and you do all of this dark work. What you were banking on was to use the energy of this divine masculine. To keep you and this family or whomever afloat. So now that you don't have access to this divine masculine. Divine masculine is becoming even more awakened and aware. You're threatened by whoever the divine masculine is dealing with, who most likely is this divine feminine high priestess. So now you decided to sacrifice the divine feminine. Okay. Because your marriage fell apart or because this masculine wants to marry this divine feminine high priestess. Okay. I talked about this day, so I said it's going to be a passion crime, spiritual passion crime. Somebody is so angry, they went in the spirit and they did something, and I promise you they can't get out of it. Mark my words. You will not get out of this. Disturbance. Fury. Ceremony. Whatever somebody conjured up to send out is part of this strategy for them to make an offering to something or someone to stop a person from being in a happy relationship, possibly having a child or whatever. This person is running scared now because they know that death is going to be knocking at their door very soon. Right now, you are okay. <laughs> you can relax and allow justice to be served. Oh, and your justice, it will absolutely be good news. And whoever this person is, is going to be homeless. This person that keeps on relying on um, divination, spine, tarot, or whatever, they're going to be kicked out of your energy for good. This third wheel is going to be trapped. They will no longer be able to do this to you. Whoever this is for, you might as well go out and enjoy yourself and not have a thing at all to worry about because somebody just sent out a spiritual attack with this satanic group that is going to destroy them or someone that they love very dearly. Oh yeah, and somebody's concerned. These cars don't lie. I don't, when I say something, the cars don't lie. Look at, look at what came out. Literally, somebody is frightened. They know. They know. Death is coming. They know it. They cannot stop this. Somebody had a strategy that they were going to predict, they were going to use tarot to predict certain things and they were going to spy on someone and then they were going to go and they were going to make a sacrifice. They were going to actually travel and project. They were going to do whatever they needed to do to cause these, somebody here wanted to attach something to this masculine because they were angry. This masculine though has someone in their life who cares about them enough to say, hey, I think that there's a dark spirit attached to you. That's what a high priestess empress can say. I think it's you get it's the, the vibe is off. You get some bad energy. Very simple. You got this masculine to thinking, being a little bit concerned about this person who was once their main female. Who so badly wants to be an official person. So, 
this angry person decided to send out a hex, a curse, a spell towards this divine feminine. But this was a sacrifice. Somebody has been trying to sacrifice someone, doing womb magic, fertility magic, trying to stop someone from giving birth to a child. Whatever they did, it was heavy, really heavy. But baby, when it comes back, it will result in death. And I'm picking up a physical death. So I hope that this reading lets you know what's to come for you since you're so nosy. Somebody here is homeless, out in the cold, playing the victim now, trying to trick everyone, but they won't stop. This person won't stop doing this magic or playing these games. They won't stop. They can't stop themselves. This person is insane. They need professional help. Somebody is very stressed out about the fact that you're you're loving yourself or you may be traveling, you're passionate, you could be traveling, considering relocating, okay? Somebody is losing sleep right now about the fact that you are truly who you say you are and who they know you are. And they've tried to bully you and they've tried to steal your dreams and get into your memories here to have you stuck, bound, and trapped so that they could be your puppet master and destroy you. This was all done so that they could shapeshift and put you in some kind of contract for their own personal gain as far as their security. And they thought that they were going to do this by making someone lose their eternal love. Somebody wants this divine masculine sacrifice so bad. Let me, let me rephrase this. It's not so either. It's like this person wants this divine masculine. They're like, either you're going to be with me or I'm going to sacrifice you. They're having a hard time sacrificing this masculine because this masculine is connected to a divine feminine. 